It has been very uneventful here at Bryn Mawr since my last entry. I have begun to fall ill and I still have not been able to improve my performance in my academics. At times, I feel practically invisible and as if there is nobody here that can help me achieve my goal of creating a goal for my life. I know that I do not want to continue on this path that my father has created for me, but I'm still not sure what my other options are. Nevertheless, I'm continuing to improve my relationships with the ambitious and hardworking people around me. In fact, Ezra, the man I mentioned to you earlier, has given me a book of poems that he has written for me. It includes a list of very well-written poems, some better than others. For example, the poem entitled The Tree is as follows. I stood still and was a tree amid the wood, knowing the truth of things unseen before, of Daphne and the laurel bow, and that god feasting couple old, that grew elm oak amid the wold. Twas not until the gods had been kindly entreated and been brought within unto the hearth of their heart's home that they might do this wonder thing nathless i have been a tree amid the wood and many a new thing understood that was rank folly to my head before this poem refers to the ancient greek tale of the god apollo and his infatuation with the nymph daphne as Daphne runs from Apollo's forceful affections, she begs the god Peneus to transform her into a tree. Even after she becomes a tree, however, Apollo recognizes her for her inner beauty and she realizes that it was her essence and not her physical beauty that Apollo was infatuated with. When I read the poem, especially the line, knowing the truth of things unseen before, it seemed to me that Ezra was focusing more on the tree and the knowledge Daphne gained as a tree rather than the relationship between the god Apollo and Daphne. He seems to be entranced with the inherent nature of the tree to absorb knowledge and gain a better understanding of the world around it, a skill that humans just do not possess. Ezra is very fond of nature and that comes through in his poetry. I admire him for knowing himself so well and being able to pursue his passion. It inspires me to do so as well. Well, that is all for now, but I will update you at a later date.